and um, this is going to be my first time here in Chiang Mai, so I'm going to make a video here of our first experience in Chiang Mai. And uh, we're starting out in Old Town, Chiang Mai, and we're near Tapai Gate. It's one of the four gates here that surrounded the Chiang Mai early on. It's also surrounded by a moat, and they create this little wall that basically had four gates, right, so that people can get in and out. Anyways, I thought this was really more of a historical area of Chiang Mai. I wanted to show you this first. Yeah, so then after uh, here, we're gonna go also make our way down to Wild Road uh, Market. And we're gonna go down there next. Um, heard there's a lot of good opportunities to find some local cuisine as well as to see where the locals go to shop for everyday stuff they need. Okay, so here we go. This is Tapai Gate right here. This is a very iconic spot for photos, as you can see. So people come here take photos of this gate. I heard about uh, these uh, photo opportunities with these pigeons and I heard that the local uh, Thai people will uh, scare the pigeons for you so that you can get a, a flying pigeon photo which is kind of interesting. They also have the original moat here so like I said before they have a moat that surrounded the city of Chiang Mai and uh, this moat here goes all the way around along with uh, the wall. All right, as you can see, people are still taking photos with the pigeons. <laughs> this is really, really funny. They have the locals uh, scaring the pigeons and, uh, and then people take photos with the pigeons. <laughs> oh, here she comes. This lady's gonna come down here and help the pigeons for the photo. And then she's gonna scare them right here, watch. Okay, we made it to Water Road uh, Market, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go inside here and take a look and see what they're selling. They have a lot of things around here. Also, they have, uh, uh, looks like shops on the outside as well as the inside. Let me go ahead and show you guys this marketplace, and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and not only look at the stuff that they sell, but also the food court and see what they have for food. So let's check it out. What is this? It's a pastry. I don't know what it's made out of. It's a curry and mashed potato and taro. All right. <laughs> that looks great. This, uh, this pastry is stuffed with taro. Very interesting. I'll take that. Yeah. Look at this, guys. All right, and more food and snacks and crackers and chips and nuts. They have a lot of things in here. Ooh, and then above, it looks like they have uh, clothes. So it's like three different levels of shops. And I guess I'm on the level where they have snacks. They have dried fruits, nuts. All right, there's a very popular um, Northern Thai sausage called Sayua sausage and I wanted to try it and I think oh I think we found a place here that sells it and uh, yeah let's see here they sell it here no. they sell it down here too yeah they sell it here too <laughs> so all three of these stalls sell it oh look at that this also got the um, fried pork belly too that looks really good too Oh, I don't know whether this is a pork chop. That's good. Can, can I get some of this? And also, I'm gonna get um, some sticky rice too. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and get half of that and try it out. Perfect. So, yeah, they have nam pork num here. And oh, there, there it is. Okay, we'll get some of that. Yeah. Try some of that and get that and some sticky rice. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Good deal. Look at that, guys. We're going to try all this stuff. All in one place. Go and go. Okay. How much is that? Uh, is there 50? 50? What is it? So 85 for. 85? Oh, good. Wonderful. Look at this. 60 baht. 60 baht? 60 baht. 
Okay, here we go. Awesome. Back off. They back off. No. Oh. Okay. Thank you. All right. We're gonna start off by eating this uh, puff pastry that had a taro. Right. So there's a taro in it, and yeah, we were walking by and saw this. It's really interesting. Light and flaky. Try it out. Mmm. Mm. Oh, let's see. Open it. Oh, there it is. You know the taro part. So I bit into it with the olive puff pastry. Now let's try some of the taro. <laughs> oh yeah. Taro is really good. Mm. It's a sweet potato, basically, yeah. So taro, puff pastry, good compliment, compliment to one another. Also the puff pastry is really good. Not only, only flaky, but also the flavor is really good too. Oh wow. Sweet potato pie? Sweet potato pie. Yeah. Exactly, right? That's really good. All right, guys. This is a popular roasted chili kind of dip, I guess. People eat this up here in uh, Northern Thailand. And they use um, either vegetables or also they use pork rinds. And um, yeah, I got the deep fried pork rinds, of course, because you know I love pork. And um, what you do is take this pork rinds here. I'll take a big pork rind here and you go ahead and just dip it in here and you eat it with this roasted green chili dip like that <laughs> uh, i love roasted chili so i was really excited to try this and here you go first taste of nam prik nom oh my goodness super spicy but a big burst of flavor really roasted roasted chili flavor I think people, if you're um, familiar with um, hatch chilies in the United States, like New Mexico has hatch chilies, they roast them in the oven. Anyways, this is very similar to that, but this is um, has a lot of kick. Oh my goodness, this is really good. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Really spicy. All right, and next we have Sayua. Sayua sausage is a popular Northern Thai sausage. It has uh, green chilies in here, also has some uh, uh, ginger, galang, um, pork sausage, and some other spices. Yeah, I can also see some basil in here too, it looks like. Anyways, let's give it a try. Oh my god. Oh man. This sausage is different in flavor from normal sausage that you would be familiar with. It has a lot of Thai flavors. Also, popular way to eat this is with um, sticky rice. So we'll go ahead and um, grab some sticky rice here. All right, there you go. I put the sticky rice on the skewer. Sticky rice and sausage. Mm, yeah. Do the old-fashioned way. There you go. But sticky rice and sayua sausage together. Hmm. All right, I think we're done having some food here in that uh, Vodorat market. And now we're gonna walk down to see some temples. And the one thing I noticed here in Chiang Mai so far is that I've seen a lot of expats and also a lot of digital nomads here in uh, Chiang Mai. And I heard that actually um, Chiang Mai is one of the, supposed to be the top, I guess, places for digital nomads to exist because of the cost of living. It's a lot more affordable, a lot more cheaper than um, other places. And we noticed that too. We've gone, come here and we noticed that um, a lot of like the food prices, even at the restaurants, right, are, are less than that of Bangkok. So um, I guess if you're gonna live anywhere, this might be a good place to live, right? Up, oh, here is the famous donut that looks like a dinosaur. Patongo. Patongo. Patongo donuts. Let's go take a look. Is this a Michelin restaurant? Yeah. Oh. Michelin, no. Maybe you should try one then. Look at that. Uh, uh. Hi, what do <laughs> Should we try uh, a yeah. tango? Yeah. yeah, can we try one? No, I don't know. Oh, oh, elephant. <laughs> Great. Oh, 20 baht? Okay. okay. <laughs> oh. 
Nice. Thank you. Do you want the pandan or the pandan? Yeah, let's try the pandan. Ten baht. Ten baht. Okay. So thirty. Thirty baht. All right. I'll take that. Thank you. All right, guys. It's a patango, but it's a shape of an elephant, and we got some pandan dipping sauce. All right. Like I said, you walk to the temple and you still run into some food. <laughs> we weren't expecting this, but hey, um, this is patango, but it's shaped of an elephant, which is really creative how they made this. It actually looks like an elephant. And uh, we bought some uh, pandan dipping sauce. Okay, hate to start with the trunk, but here we go. Patango. Oh. They did a really good job. The flavor of the dough is really good. Not as airy as the other patango we had in Bangkok, but this is shaped out, so the flavor is really good. Mmm. How fun. Okay, that was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Having patango, which is a donut basically, like a Chinese donut. Um, and uh, yeah, not only that, but we also got a, a Michelin rated restaurant to try here in Chiang Mai. So, nice pleasant surprise. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can find this temple. And then got some street vendors here selling some drinks. It looks like they have some <laughs> rickshaws, or not rickshaws, but the bicycle rickshaw style for tourists. Now, this is, I think, more of a Thai temple. And uh, not too far away from the market. All right, you get 10 seconds to walk across this crosswalk and now you're at the temple. Look at that, the dragon. It's so cool. The architecture is really cool. Colors. Wow, look at that. A lot of candles lit in there. Also, they sell souvenirs here and some other stuff. Can't go to the temple, right? All right, well, but we can walk around the temple. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for our first episode here in Chiang Mai. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, make sure to smash that like button. Always appreciate your support. And also if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. We have a lot more going on here in Chiang Mai. Hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are and we'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye-bye.